Thank you, Mr. President. Will the gentleman yield? Yes, absolutely, Senator Van Pute. Mayor. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman. First of all, congratulations and thank you for the process that you were used in. Certainly throughout the interim, this was a, a topic of discussion. And I wanted to just ask a few questions about the Section 5 and then go to the other sections, if, if possible. Absolutely. So in my 24 years in the legislature, that Senate tradition of the threshold by which to bring up a floor uh, debate was always an enigma for members of the House as they had that calendars committee. So in essence, the Senate was its own calendars committee. A lot has changed in 24 years. The most brutal, the most emotional, and the most difficult battles have never been partisan. They've been about water, those that have it and those that don't. So I want to ask you a very, very important question. Because for us, our water resources are going to be the most important topics of discussion. In still having a supermajority by the change in the rules to now 19, do you believe that those topics such as junior water rights, interbasin transfers, will be an easier or a more difficult topic for members of the Senate? I don't think it changes. Given the makeup and the, the intense urbanization of our, and our population centers, do you believe that the change in the supermajority from 21 to 19 would also have an effect on the issues that are nonpartisan, which have been discussed and in earlier legislative sessions, maybe not while you were here, but certainly in prior battles with court decisions on school finance, the subject of mandatory consolidation of rural school districts, would that cause you or cause us any concern from a supermajority of 21 to 19? I don't think it will, and I'll tell you why. <clears throat> because every time I've had to find 11 votes to support my district, I've ended up finding a whole lot more. Anytime I go to a member of this Senate who's a friend of mine, and I've got a dilemma with my district, or trying to protect water for rural Texas, or when we were doing school finance and Senator Duncan put together a group to make sure rural school districts were taken care of, every time we get way past 11, because I go to a senator on this floor who may be from Houston, and I say, I need help. They're hurting my district. I always get help. So I, I'm very comfortable with the supermajority at 19. I, I'm very comfortable with that. And my final question on this is that with respect to those issues which are exceedingly important to the population, bringing that supermajority from 21 to 19 with respect to expansion of gaming, you still have no concern or this body has no concern about lowering that threshold? No, I don't. Well, Senator, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And notice that I'm not worried about the partisan issues. I realize for my Republican colleagues that it was definitely a campaign issue. As I traveled the state last year, it was a campaign issue. But the majority of the decisions that are really those partisan ones, you're right, have been gotten around by some mechanism. So I appreciate your honesty and your diligence in trying to make sure that what we see is going to be consistent. I still think we will have as many special sessions given the fact that <laughs> we are uh, bound by court decisions as well.